Hey guys, Chris here. I wanna do a quick video today to talk about how important it is to follow your gut, your inner voice, instead of listening to your mind, the negative thoughts. And I wanna use this example of when I did a bungee jump recently for the fifth time, I struggled. You know, for the first time, I was actually holding on to the edge and I couldn't go. And the guy had to tell me a few times of how to do it, talk to me, reassure me. And the reason I didn't is because I went into my mind, I started to believe that I can't do this, I'm not too, not too sure, I don't wanna jump right now. And the longer I left it, and the more I sort of went to my mind and thought about it, the harder it got. And then it was so hard to push, so you sometimes have just gotta make that straight away. And you know, this could be like getting up out of the bed in the morning, going to a, a sort of fitness class or whatever it is. Um, so I wanna give you this example and, and show you right now of, of what actually happened and even though I've done this a few times, how the fear stuck in. Okay. Right, mate, hands stretching on these bars for me. Perfect. And I'll give you a countdown, all right? Yeah. Let's okay. go, mate. In three, two, one. Bungee. All good. Okay. Let's try again. Two, one. That's all right. That's all right. Two, one. Yeah. Stick your arms out right out of your way, mate. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Keep them right in the middle, foot. I don't need me, don't worry. Perfect. All right, so keep your arms, stick your arms right out for me. Okay. Something nice. <laughs> All right, All right do it. Breathe in something nice and tall. Okay. There we go. Just reset. Okay, arms up. And I'm going to count you down, all right? I'm going to count you down. Two, one. 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 Go. Nice, well done. So you've seen in the video as well, what was happening, my hand went onto the cage and then I kept holding on and I couldn't let go. And my hand, I'd already got into that habit of holding on. Um, whereas before it was just getting to the top and falling I changed that habit and I was holding on, um, fearing the worst, um, instead of just trusting that it would be okay. So I want to use this video just to demonstrate that it's always important to just follow that gut and sometimes in your mind says, oh, I don't know if this is the right decision. Deep, deep down, you know it's good. When I was at the bottom, I wanted to go up and I wanted to do it. And the mind is gonna be really strong and, and you're facing massive fears for sure. And the last time I did this, I, I did it backwards and I just got into the position and I just let go. Um, I didn't think too much about it and I did it straight away, but this time it was overthinking. So next time, if you really wanna do something, you know, you wanna make that gut feeling, really just, just follow that straight away and don't listen to the chatter in their mind because that's, that's talking you out of it. And that stops you and that keeps you in the comfort zone. Remember, you wanna break out the comfort zone. So the initial gut feeling you get you want to follow that and then you don't want to listen to them. You understand then the mind is trying to talk you out of it. So you want to get past that. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I look forward to seeing you soon.